John Alejos lives next to a property which he says has been neglected for years. Last year, it just sat vacant, windows were broken out, it was going, credit were going in the basement, so the city finally came in and, and had it tore down. John thought tearing down the house would help, but now what's left on the property is overgrown weeds and sinkholes. It's about four foot, kind of like the city just forgot about it. We checked into the property's history with code compliance and found out this property has been on the city's radar for more than five years. On May 14th, the city filled a sinkhole here, but we wondered why nothing's been done about the tall grass, even though the weeds are over John's head. I grabbed a tape measure and went in the inside. It's over 10 and a half feet tall. And with weeds that tall, animals come out of here often. Rabbits, I see possums, I see uh, skunks. I see, I see snakes come out of there, and the neighbors got some in the basement from that property. And insects are also a problem. Between the standing water right here and the standing water up in these trees, this place is swarming with mosquitoes. In less than 10 minutes, I got bit 11 times. When we called to find out why the city hasn't rent this place up for a weeds violation, we were surprised at the answer. The weeds are so tall, codes officers thought it was corn or even a garden. Now that they know, they say they'll write up a complaint and the landowner will be ordered to mow or pay a fine. Jessica Drew, KTK 49 ABC News.